he called me an old man, and he's older than I am. And he called me an invalid because of an injury to my leg. And, and that injury came long ago. But during our expedition, during our expedition, my leg became so inflamed, I couldn't walk anymore. Tears would come to my eyes because of the pain. And Portola would say, ah, leave that old invalid behind. Huh? We need to go, we need to move on, we got to get to California. But there were a number of soldiers, soldados, just like this one there, who took compassion upon me. They took compassion. And what they did is, they would work on the wounds of mules. And they thought to themselves, well, if it works for the wounds of mules, it might work for Padre Sela, because he's like an old mule. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> there was a connection there. You, were, you do remember See? it. Yeah. And, and now this is how it, I remember sitting down. And I remember one of the soldiers, and Dominguez was part of this expedition, a soldier very similar to him, took compassion on me. When I asked him to help me, I said, Hey, soldier, would you, would you help me? And he looked at me just the way he's looking at me now, and he smiled. He moved More said, responsibilities. Yes. <laughs> like I didn't have enough already. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to take care of Franciscan Padre. When I you see board. how much they complain? <laughs> and I hadn't even asked him my question yet, and he was already, I just looked at him. Huh? But we love the old man. Yeah. We so, love the old man. But I see it. I see it. It's so gentle. Well, that ointment you're putting on the behinds of mules, and you put it on my leg. And all he did was smile. You see how he's smiling right now? See? Yeah. Just, 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 just like you don't that. know the ointment we use, but it. But it might help me. I need you to try it. Please, will you try it? Yeah. We, we, we will. If it can help the mule. It will, please. If it helps the mule, then it If it works on the mule and a donkey, why not the body? <laughs> then give it a try. Don't, be, don't make me beg you for so long. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it up. And he made me beg him. You see how he's making me beg him now. He was so amused, he kept smiling the whole time. Finally, I go shake my fist at him just like that. You see how he's laughing at me now? Mm -hmm. the, the ointment we use, the medication we use when we use it on the horse and got lame or bad cuts, whatever, they, they were a combination of, of a, a muscale plant, the juice, it's like almost like a tequila. We permeate the plants, the herbs. We would use we would use this in there, mix it. Then they have an idea what this is? Chorizo. Almost. <laughs> oh. Anybody know what that is? Smells mm. bad. Does anybody have an idea? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is twist tobacco. This is how we would import the tobacco. Just roll your cigarettes out of corn husk. This is corn husk like that. But it was part of the medication. We would use a, some kind of alcohol, mix that with the tobacco, and let it fermicate for a while. And this is what, some of what we would, would apply to a wound. And in your case, by the way, this is what we used on your on your bite wound. It was. Oh, I, I remember you being very amused at it. I remember you laughing at it. Well, there was another ingredient, Father, but I won't discuss that with the people. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to tell you. They said, Bernard, we, we couldn't do it because you're not the behind of a mule. Even though I work as hard as a mule, he said I was not the behind of a mule. I did not know whether I take that as a compliment. <laughs> it's an insult. Hmm? But I do believe it was a compliment because these men... They saved my leg. They, by that ointment that you see there, that ointment that you see there, saved my leg from infection and from losing my leg. And were able me to make it here, to California, to build missions, and, and, to, and, and to work with the people here. Yes, I, I, I have to be confessed with you, Father. There's a reason why we needed to heal you. Yes. Like a mule. If we not save that mule, if we didn't take care of that mule, who would have to pack the supplies? Oh, I would, on my back. So the mule was very important. We value the mules, Father. Oh, right. so. Thank we value you. I think that's another compliment, I'm not sure. Does that sound like a compliment to you? No. No, but you know something? What you see going on here? This is how we missionaries and soldiers would get along. Because remember, I'm a priest. He's a soldier. So his duties can be more difficult than mine can. 
Uh, he has to work with people that always are not very friendly. I have to do the same, but more people look to me for different things. We look to him for strength. We look to him to get things done. And for my job is to administer to the people of California, huh? <laughs> but, you know, what was something more important than food out here that we would need to find? Do you know what is more important than food? The opposite of food. What is the opposite? You know. Water. Water, yes. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, my hearing doesn't work as well. <laughs> I, I thought I heard Gino. <laughs> I did not hear that, did I? No, Corporal Gino. Oh, I see. <laughs> Corporal Gino, I, I remember Corporal Gino. I, I, don't, I could not forget Corporal Gino. Mm. But, uh, yes, water. We would say, agua is vida. Can you say agua? Agua. Es vida. Es vida. That means, does anyone know what that means? Who speaks Spanish? Water is life. Water is life. Water is the food of life. Without nothing grows water. Does. Plants don't grow. People don't live. Huh? Grapes don't grow with water. You can't make Dino. I mean, Gino. <laughs> yes, I do remember. Sargento, please, my hearing. I, I don't hear you. I'll speak louder. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm very concerned for his soul. <laughs> But here, water was very important. We needed to find as much water as we could here in California for people to survive. Because if we add water to plants, what two things that plants give us in return for water? Does anyone know? Two things. Food and oxygen. And oxygen. Now be honest here. Who likes food? Good. Not everyone, I guess. She doesn't like food, but I know I can see it. She's not very hungry, though, right? But we'll see later if she's hungry or not. Who likes bread? Who likes uh, vegetables? Uh, who likes uh, fruits? Who likes insects? <laughs> oh, you do? No, because a lot of the, most of the natives here would eat live cockroaches and worms. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, no, I feel the same way with you, and Sargento probably feels the same as we don't believe in chasing our food. <laughs> it must stay on our plate first, but if you do like cockroaches, I saw a big, fat cockroach. You know, he was in here not long ago. Oh, yes, no, and I think that he was right, right over here, just a moment ago. Oh, she already ate them, huh? She already ate them, huh? But, you know, Padre, I, on the defense of the Native Americans here, good. one of my biggest responsibilities here was to uh, interpret for the officials. I was very good at interpreting a lot of Native American languages, from Sonora to Sinaloa to Baja, and here in Alpha, California. I had a, a talent for that, and that was one of the reasons why they, they had me on this expedition, so I could communicate with the different tribes here, you know, from Spanish to their native tongue and back and forth. And he was but I learned, I learned many things that, that Native Americans are very smart people. They know how to live off the land. They knew what plants were good for you and what plants were poisonous for you. They knew what kind of insects you could eat, what kind you couldn't. They were very helpful. They, they knew their stuff, you know. But I oh, you're, oh, you're right, Sargento. He is very... Sargento Dominguez, he's being modest was one of the better soldiers of the sacred expedition, of Potola expedition. He was so, he was so loyal and so good to our entire expedition that he was given this land grant where he could build a home, which you see here today. He was so loyal a man. And his loyalty stayed beyond his years of a soldier. He remained loyal to the mission and he remained loyal to Spain. A very good man, I was a good friend, a good friend indeed, but he, he does drink a lot. <laughs> it's alright, it's quite alright. But, uh, so you caught my nerves. How many? The weather. You found your nerves? See, sure, it's cold weather, it makes me cold, and the vino's good for the bones. I see, you know? I have your point. But, Padre, I have to say, I was blessed to have a rancho. I was given, I was given 78,000 acres of land in this area. Uh, and uh, I brought in, when we, on the, in the 1769 expedition, we brought in 300 head of cattle from Baja. And from those cattle, we expanded. I had one time 30,000 head of cattle, thousands of horses, mares, fillies, colts. 
I was, I was just blessed with all this. 